Hi everyone, welcome to the Oris channel. The Intel 12th Gen processors with the compatible chipset Z690 bring several new technologies, such as the hybrid core structure that promise potent single-thread performance with P-Core and great power efficiency with E-Core. It also brings other advanced features such as PCIe Gen 5, which supports twice the bandwidth compared to PCIe Gen 4. What's even more amazing is that combined with the M.2 from the processor, the Z690 platform could support up to four M.2 slots with PCIe Gen 4x4. This means you could embrace both the lightning-fast access speed and the huge capacity of storage simultaneously. Let's move on and take a look at the performance. It's been proven that the 12th Gen processors feature at least 20% more performance compared to the last gen and the performance gain would be even greater when compared to your relatively aged processors such as the 8th gen or 9th gen. So if you'd like to upgrade your PC with 12th gen processors and the Z690, you need to watch out for three things before pulling the trigger. The first thing you need to notice is the CPU cooler. The newest socket of the 12th gen processor is the LGA1700, and it won't be compatible with the LGA1200 socket on the Z590 or Z490. The shape of the processor has also changed a little bit. It became more rectangular instead of square. Most important of all, the height of the processor has also changed. It became shorter compared to the last gen. So that means if you want to keep your existing cooler for 12th gen processors, you'll need the new mounting kit which supports LGA1700. We've also noted user feedbacks that their existing cooler had compatibility issues with the Z690 motherboard due to the use of LGA1200 mounting kit. So it's highly recommended that you use LGA1700 mounting kit for your existing coolers. Only with the LGA1700 mounting kit can the CPU cooler fully attach to the 12th gen processors and guarantee lower temperature even under full loads. We'll suggest you go for the 280 or even the 360 all-in-one liquid cooler like our Aorus Waterforce X360 to get the best performance out of the 12th gen processors. The second thing you need to know concerns the power supply. Yes, the 12th gen processor is quite powerful, however, it also consumes a lot of power under full loads. Take the i9-12900K as an example. Its maximum turbo power is 241 watts, and if you want to pair it with a premium graphic card such as an RTX 3080, you'd better go for a power supply that could provide at least 750 watts to 850 watts as a safer bet. If you'd like to go for something even more premium, you could consider our newly launched Aorus P1200W, which is 80 plus platinum certified, adopting 100% Japanese capacitors with even better power efficiency and stability. Last but not least, the memory. Compared to the last gen, DDR5 comes with a larger bandwidth. To help you get additional performance from DDR5 more easily, we've introduced a series of DDR5 overclocking functions on our Z690 motherboard lineup, including DDR5 Auto Booster, DDR5 XMP Booster, and Advanced Memory Setting, which could elevate your DDR5 performance to a whole new level. So if you want the best performance out of your newly built PC, just go for the DDR5 Ready motherboard, such as the Z690 Aorus Master or Elite, and embrace premium gameplay and efficient content creation from your PC. However, if you want to save some cost or reuse your current DDR4 memory, we've also prepared a series of DDR4 Ready motherboards, which are listed in the table above. In conclusion, before opting for the 12th gen processor, you need to check if your existing or newly bought cooler does support the LGA1700 socket. Check if your power supply is powerful enough to push your processor as well as the other components to the maximum. Finally, decide which memory you should go for, DDR4 or DDR5. So that's pretty much all the things you need to watch out for before jumping to Alder Lake. Feel free to let us know if you have any other questions, and we'll see you next time.